In today's episode of Weapons of Our World, we are going to look at the artillery piece that would shape the future development of artillery all the way to this day, known as the Regimental Cannon. Since the development of the cannon in 13th century China and its introduction in European warfare in the 14th century, artillery was confined to a very specific role. Artillery through the late Middle Ages was almost exclusively used in sieges, with their large caliber projectiles devastating defensive structures. However, in the early 17th century, the Swedish king Gustavus Adolphus revolutionized the way European warfare was conducted. His tactics expanded on those established by Maurice of Nassau, relying on a combination of high mobility and firepower to overcome the Spanish tercio style formations that his foes employed. The large and immobile artillery pieces quickly became useless when the Swedish troops advanced, and they were very expensive for a relatively small country like Sweden to produce. And so Gustavus Adolphus sought a new, lighter, and cheaper alternative. First came what was known as a leather gun though these were soon abandoned as their leather wrappings that gave them their name also caused the guns to overheat and warp after just a few shots. Instead, the Swedish troops used a small bronze cannon, which became known as a regimental gun, as each regiment had one that would move and attack with them. These mobile guns were so light that as few as two crew members could maneuver them across the battlefield. The regimental cannon became standardized within the Swedish army with its small three pound projectile and canister shot simplifying logistics now that they only had two types of shot to account for. The regimental cannon was used to devastating effect across the battlefields of the Thirty Years' War. Though heavy artillery still remains an important part of a military's firepower even to this day, the regimental cannon forever proved the value of lightweight and mobile artillery that is able to deliver that extra firepower when and where it is needed. The regimental gun is indeed one of the great weapons of our world. If you enjoyed this short documentary on the regimental cannon, consider liking the video and subscribing for more documentaries. And don't forget to check out the ongoing documentary series you see on screen.